This is definitely one of our top five travel experiences so far. This is incredible. <laughs> doing something we have never done before. We're going on a hot air balloon <laughs> ride! So in this video we're going to show you the best way to see Teotihuacan and one of those things is going on a hot air balloon. We're going to share lots of tips and tricks as we go today so make sure you watch the whole video but our balloon is blowing up as we speak so we gotta get going! I'm so excited! <laughs> They're taking off already! <laughs> So we were picked up this morning at about 5.30, so it is cold and I'm tired, but they have coffee for us ready when we got here, so now I'm just enjoying a quick coffee while I watch all these balloons just launch behind me. It's so cool, I'm so excited, I can't even handle it. Oh, this could be so fun. All right, let's do it. Gotta get on. This way? Oh no. Okay. Can you? Oh, no, it's not yet. Yeah, we got a smile for the photo, Eric. <laughs> we're doing it. Oh, we're off the ground. Look at this. What? what? We are off the ground. We're moving. We're moving. How's it feel? This is so weird. This is crazy. So weird. Wow. Whoa. So All of a sudden, we're really high. <laughs> what? We're flying! <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness, wow. this is beautiful! Wow! This is so, so no. cool! This is insane! Look at this! Look at this right now! <laughs> wow! So wow! Look, here comes the drone! <laughs> This is so beautiful. You just see the balloons launching everywhere in the fields around. And we're just flying over like people's houses. It's just, it's so crazy. Oh, I could do this all day. Look at this sunrise. Imagine living here, Sarah. Imagine what it's like if you lived right here. Oh, yeah. Balloons over your house every single morning. That'd be crazy. You wake up and there's just a bunch of balloons. This looks incredible with the pyramids in the yeah, background. This like so this cool. is so picturesque. Wow. I think this is one of our top five travel experiences so this far. Is amazing. <laughs> this is incredible. We are literally going over top of the pyramid right now. Look at this. So close. Looks like we're gonna hit it. I know. Our guide just made a joke. We're gonna land on it. Honestly, it feels like it. We're so close. Look at this. Whoa! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> what? Wow. We're right over top of it. Awesome. Eric Smile. This is crazy. Look. There's the top hey, of the pyramid. Hey, buddy. Buenos dias! <laughs> <laughs> wow! I was not expecting that. What the heck? We just How went literally so close to that. How do you know you can do that? Wow! I'm obsessed with this whole thing right now. Look at this pyramid! Wow. In. Wow, yeah. Incredible. I don't know. What to, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm losing my mind. So after this ride, we're going to go down below and explore. And you can see here that we have the two main pyramids, the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon. And then there's what's called the Avenue of the Dead in between them. So we're going to go and walk around that whole thing after we're done this. I am I don't just, know what to do. I'm just taking it back. Yeah. This is okay. wild. <laughs> 
all of a sudden we just cruise straight up and we are so high up all of a sudden. This is crazy. This is now a little bit freaky. Yeah, this is wild. How many times have I said wow today? Yeah, probably 16,000 already. It's not even like seven o'clock. Wow. I think I would do this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I would do this all morning. I would yeah. literally stay up here for hours yeah, and I have a choice. This is so <laughs> do not miss this if you come to Go Mexico up, City. Cheers. I, I thought we'd be celebrating that we landed safely, yeah. but <laughs> might as well celebrate Sorry. before in case we die. <laughs> mm. Oh, so good. That's really good. Tastes like apple juice. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's a great morning. That's a solid, solid morning. I could do this every morning. Yeah. Is it weird that we're drinking at like seven in the morning? Mm-mm. That's -mm. yeah, probably fine. It's probably fine. <laughs> All right, last look at the balloons from the air. I know. The last look. All right, ready? Coming or not. Ready. We're totally landing on this trailer. What? What? I'm, I'm so impressed. I mean, luckily these guys are just. Whoa! Wow. Very impressive. Okay. Good job, man. Wow. Success. That was so fun. Awesome. I love that so that was much. Incredible. Oh, I want to do it again right away. So we booked this entire tour through a company called Flying Pictures Mexico, and we highly recommend it because not only did it include transportation to and from Mexico City this morning, it also included coffee at the start, it included the champagne on the balloon ride, and now we're getting breakfast at their restaurant, and at the end of this all, we're gonna even get to go into the ruins as part of the tour as well. So it just really covers everything, and it's really awesome. So highly recommend checking them out. Are those the ones you How want? Is it? Huh? Yeah. So, so good. This ham is insanely good. So what's really cool about this tour is that they've been taking drone footage and GoPro footage and different pictures throughout the tour and you actually can buy that footage after the tour as well. So if you like any of the footage that you see in this video, a lot of it's actually from the company itself. So we would highly recommend purchasing that after the tour. We have finally made it to the great metropolis of Teotihuacan and apparently these ruins are the biggest ever in all of the Americas, which is crazy to me. I never realized, I'd never even heard of Teotihuacan before this, but this is incredible. There are pyramids everywhere. The whole place is completely symmetrical and in line with the sun and the moon. I'm actually standing right here in the square of the moon and it is just a sight to behold. So I don't want to completely blast you with information, but I just wanted to add one thing, is that even though Teotihuacan is like the biggest that has been found in the Americas, Tikal, where we were in Guatemala, if you remember that video, is the second biggest. And actually, Teotihuacan conquered Tikal. So it's just so interesting to be able to go to these different ruins and realize like the strife and the conquerings that happened between civilizations, even though it was thousands of years ago. I don't know, just one of those things that just blows your mind. <laughs> Do you think if you ran up these stairs every single day <laughs> that you would just be the fastest person in the world? I don't think I'd be the fastest, but I'd have jacked thighs. Just be jacked. Just... I bet that's what they did. Probably. They probably all just had massive thighs. Every day was leg day. Yeah. <laughs> Look how many people there are here today. This is crazy. There are so many people. Supposedly this is the most visited ancient ruins in the entire world, which is wild. And apparently during uh, the equinox in March, there's one weekend where there can be up to 500,000 people that visit here in one weekend, which is just insane. I can't even imagine what that would look like. This place would be just absolutely packed. I just, it blows my mind. Just so crazy. <laughs> So now standing here, you can really understand and appreciate the sheer size of this place. You can see the Pyramid of the Sun where we kind of went over with the hot air balloon this morning. This is the square of the moon, the Pyramid of the Moon. And then this whole piece right here goes two kilometers that way. And it's called the Avenue of the Dead. It is 
crazy long. And apparently this place has only been excavated, 6% of it has been excavated. So over 90% of it is not excavated. And I'm just looking at all this stuff and I'm thinking this place is massive, huge. <laughs> So crazy. So if you're planning your own trip to Mexico City, we're creating a full Mexico City travel guide that will include everything about this tour, but also just other things we've done in the city, whether on video or not. That Everything from accommodations to activities to do, the best restaurants, and just any other valuable information we can share with you. So check that out below and hopefully it helps you plan your own trip here. So we're now walking through one of the houses that is still somewhat intact. Obviously parts of it have been reconstructed but you can see like the whole patio. Wow, this is so beautiful, Eric. Wow, this is amazing. I didn't expect it to be so like colorful. I know. Like, it's so red and these carvings are amazing. I feel like whenever we go to ruins, you just kind of assume it's all just a bunch of bricks, but yeah. it's, it's so cool that it was actually a very colorful place. And like mostly red and white paint, he said, yeah. which you can see. This is so cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow, look at this. So we've started the walk of at least 500 meters now of the Avenue of the Dead, but now we've actually just reached it to the uh, the Temple of the Sun, or the, I guess, Pyramid, Pyramid of, the of the Sun? Same thing. Same thing. Cool. And now we gotta go up these steep <laughs> stairs. <laughs> help me. I'll hold you, don't Thank worry. Thank you. I think you used to be able to like actually climb this pyramid, but yeah. I think they closed that, and now that That's I'm looking right. at it, I'm okay with it. So again, it's just so interesting being here after being at Tikal because apparently the tallest temple in Tikal is actually five meters taller than this one. But this one is just so like spread out, you know? It's just yeah. so interesting how they just have completely different designs based on which civilization it was. It's just so cool. And I'm just trying to still wrap my head around the fact that we like almost touched the top of this yeah, one. Yeah, that was when crazy. we were in the balloon. <laughs> I can't believe we were, we were like awesome. literally under a foot away. Yeah, that, that was That wild. was a really cool experience. I would definitely say this is like the best way to see ruins. Be able to like go over top of them and then walk right through them. Oh, yeah. Incredible. The two perspectives is just totally. so amazing. Yeah, we'd highly recommend booking with flying pictures. It was so amazing. And our guide, Luis, as well, we want to say a special thanks to him. He was very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And to Sean, as well, the owner of flying pictures. Amazing, amazing experience. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. That's right.